I know what was going through your heads last video. Your dirty, dirty minds. The whole time I was playing that lead, you wanted to know how to make that fat bass in the background. So today, we're gonna be sound designing this marshmallow bass. What is going on Rocket Powered Sound Designers? Welcome to the best channel on YouTube for Serum Tutorials. Now let's just go ahead and jump straight into the tutorial here. This sound is super, super simple to make and it is beautiful. So first things first, go ahead and jump into our analog selection and click basic shapes for our wavetable of oscillator A. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is click that subscribe button because I'm pumping out serum tutorials every single week and who wants to miss out on serum tutorials? Anyways, in all seriousness to know, though uh let's go ahead and move to our sawtooth waveform which is number two um on the wavetail position and here end up with a sound like this but that sounds nothing like marshmallows track blocks so you're probably wondering why aren't we doing like something more like a square that sounds pretty squarefied just like the original sound guys hear me out i'm going to be showing you a really awesome trick go ahead and go into our warp selection and make sure this is on a sawtooth waveform as we originally had it and now put this on quantize and as you can see we're really just reducing the quality of this uh waveform down each block by block and it's kind of almost uh, turning it into a square waveform by the end of it a variation of it so go ahead and leave this at around 61 percent here because that's going to give us the perfect tone that's almost a cross between a sawtooth waveform and a square waveform that is just like the original track now go into the effect section here and first effect on the list we're going to be rocking distortion of course and just go ahead take that drive blast it all the way so now you're starting to hear the square, <laughs> the square frequencies come out a little bit and it's sounding pretty good, right? Go ahead and uh, now we're gonna grab our EQ, okay? Because the mid range frequencies are a little bit too intense and that's not like the OG track. So go ahead and choose this middle curve, which is the peak and go ahead and turn down that gain down all the way down to negative 24 decibels. And we're literally not going to change a single knob after this because those are the exact frequencies we want to be cutting out perfect turn on our compressor now and all we're going to do press multiband that way all the frequencies are going to evenly be distributed and compressed out but we got to turn up that gain okay now we are getting somewhere finally finish it off with a little bit of hyper and dimension no hyper we want it to be sounding clean and then size goes to around two percent with a high mix of around 31 percent and that just gives us a little bit of stereo width and guys this is what we end up with so we literally end up with the entire marshmallow block sound if you want to learn how to make that lead make sure you check out my last tutorial where i literally made that lead if you guys like this video uh make sure you give me a thumbs up it just gives me an idea of how many of you guys actually like the sound and like i said if you're new here and you don't want to miss out on weekly serum tutorials make sure you want to click that subscribe button also psa i'm doing a live stream sometime soon i don't know when but maybe this week maybe next week i'll let you know but if I don't, make sure you have post notifications turned on. That way, you never miss one. Live stream. <laughs> Alright guys, so without further ado, my name is Shane from Rocket Parrot Sound. And I will catch you guys in the next Serum Tutorial. Whoop.